want to stay out of sight. Before you go any further, use your binoculars to recon the area. This is the truth. Cross it to your two. You're... Snake, it's Chico. I need your help. Cypher's holding me on a U.S. military base in Cuba. Their lives are in your hands. Get Chico and Paz out of there. are proceeding, but modifying Zeke has not proven easy. I'm just getting the ease done now. As of today, I will be living here at Mother Base. Now my real trial begins. Zadornov was paying my room, board, and tuition, but he has since been captured. I told the man that with no more money from the KGB, I could no longer afford school. He bought my story. And when I said I would be willing to work, he took pity on me and let me stay. For some reason, Miller really pled my case. That was helpful. But the man is still a fool. His men are no better. They think their training makes them strong. But that kind of strength is nothing in the face of true power. And better yet, they wait on me hand and foot, believing I am just a schoolgirl. Looks like I won't be working too hard after all. Just today, while scouting out the living quarters, I saw a group of them in the corner of the deck making a fuss. Going over for a look, I saw they were feeding a kid. A bunch of grown hard men, and they are the ones acting like schoolgirls. Look, isn't he cute? What is wrong with them? Disgusted, I just nodded and smiled. I must stay in character after all. I indulged their chit chat for a few moments. Then one of them asked me to give the thing a name. They had just taken it from its mother. I named it Nuke. I improvised some nonsense about how our compassion for living things can help prevent wars. The men gave me a little fish. I held it out in my palm and the kitten happily ate it up. What a pathetic, feeble creature. It sickens me. Today, Chico invited me to go fishing with the soldiers. I suppose finding one's own food does have its merit, but I prefer not to be involved in such a degrading task. And they're prattling on... Development on the bipedal weapon is now complete. They call it Metal Gear Zeke. It stands there like some sort of mystical guardian. The soldiers gaze on it with pride and reverence. Big Boss has elected to arm it with a nuclear weapon. As an army without a nation, they seem to feel the need for a deterrent against whatever the world might pit against them. It is a dangerous gambit. Why do such a thing? Their nuclear strategy differs from the Americans and the Soviet Union. The superpowers deter attack by revealing their nuclear arsenals to one another. Snake and his men know that if they were to go public with this, the whole world would unite against them. Business would dry up overnight. Now head east to the so they do not plan on revealing the nuke until necessary. This ace-in-the-hole approach is their idea of a nuclear strategy. Wielding a deterrent all the while unable to reveal its existence. I wonder if Snake sees how vulnerable this makes them.
enemy somewhere out of sight. So your suppressor is worn out. That gun won't be as loud as any other now. If you have to shoot, be careful. prison area. The targets are there. Roger that chopper request. It's headed your way now. 